Hi, Stephen from Own and Disown. And uh, many of us use uh, digital pens to either take notes or draw pictures, sketching and so forth. And it's a, there's a, a myriad of options out there. And it's a bit of a minefield because, you know, is it compatible with this? Is it compatible with that? And there's uh, two main technologies at play. Now, I've got uh, the Surface Book here and the uh, Lenovo Yoga 720. The Lenovo here uses uh, Wacom AES technology, whilst uh, the uh, Surface Book uses uh, Microsoft uh, Pen Protocol. And uh, the Surface Pen indeed uses the Entrig. And so I'll be going through, through that. I've also got the uh, Hawaii Mate Pen. That's a, a Wacom AES pen. And I also have the uh, Bamboo uh, Ink Pen. Now this actually can use both. You can switch between the uh, Microsoft Pen Protocol or uh, Wacom AES. So it's a bit of versatility there. And uh, finally, I've got the Lenovo Active uh, Stylus Ink Pen here which of course I, I, I use uh, on here. Okay, so first up we have the uh, bamboo ink pen. Now what's good about this pen, it is uh, more flexible in that it can connect to a lot more devices than the, the others. Um, it uh, was one of the first to support uh, Wacom's universal pen framework, where, which uh, allows it to connect to uh, devices that uh, use uh, the Wacom AES protocol, or that's the Active Electrostatic, and the Microsoft Pen Protocol, or the MPP. Um, so that is great. And uh, you can actually switch between profiles. Um, see this button here, you can uh, press both sides, the plus and minus sign, press them both down for two seconds, and it uh, would switch between the two. Uh, it also has a button here at the top, which you uh, press down for the, say about five or six seconds, and it uh, can sync then to, to Bluetooth um, to, uh, for the uh, active uh, ink. Uh, the Windows Ink, and it uh, takes a one of those uh, small quadruple A batteries, and you have a, a useful clip here to attach for your pocket, and it does have quite a lengthy uh, nib, so that is uh, that is quite nice, and of course uh, your buttons here to add uh, functionality where it's right click or or delete, um, so we'll take a look at that in a second, and also it does come with. Um, some uh, some nibs, you have to be careful here because you open this up, you slide it and there's some nibs inside there and they do tend to bounce out. <laughs> it also has, uh, the, the pressure sensitivity is uh, 4096 levels of uh, pressure sensitivity. Next up we have the Surface Pen and how can this be used on um, uh, all the Surface devices? So you know your Surface Pro 4 the, or the, the old Surface Tablet and the Surface Book. This is the uh, the, the the older older version um, so it's not that old but you know it was about 50 or 60 dollars at the time uh, now it's a, a released version a new version with um, it's about 99 dollars with uh, 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity I think this this one only has 2048 but it's certainly ample for my needs uh, it, it uh, uses uh, it's Entrig support and it's uh, the Microsoft uh, pen protocol and so good for it's for Windows Ink. You can't use it on the Lenovo uh, Yoga 720 because that's uh, a Wacom AES. So it does get confusing with all these different terminologies. It has one long uh, strip here, which I like. It's you know it's a bit rubbery, and it's just so it's just got a one button here. Uh, short, uh, so a fairly long nib, but not quite as long as the uh, I would say as the uh, Bamboo Ink. And again, it has a, a battery in here. A uh, quadruple A battery, the same as the, the bamboo ink and the one here. Now what's special here is, uh, again, it's a, a button to press for, you know, for, for as an eraser, but also to, to connect with Bluetooth. So you can uh, use it as an eraser there or assign long long press or short press or whatever to open up OneNote uh, or activate Cortana, that type of thing. And it's nice in the hand. It's um, what I like about it, you can't inadvertently press the buttons here like you can do perhaps on the bamboo ink. And uh, it's, it's got a nice weight to the hand. And I, I do like the flat edge here to hold on to. Um, separately, you can buy these uh, extra nibs, they're about $20. It's a shame they're not included in the kit, but there you go. We uh, next have a look at the, uh, the Lenovo uh, Active Stylus. Now this is a uh, Wacom AES pen, so it's uh, it's not Entrig. You can't use it on like the Surface 
surface boot because you can't switch profiles or anything like that. It's a solid metal cylinder. I do like that. It's, it's, you know, it feels nice in the hand again. It's got quite a short nib though. And uh, it has uh, 2048 uh, levels of pressure sensitivity. Uh, has the uh, buttons here. Front one here for deleting uh, when you're writing and stuff. And uh, the right one here for like a right click. And uh, it doesn't have any pressing buttons here or anything like that. It does have a clip, uh, which, it, which is nice. And uh, it does uh, again have a, uh, have a battery in it, which you unscrew here and it goes in there, same quadruple A battery. And uh, this retails is cheap, it's about $28. So it's actually pretty good value, but again, you're limited to, uh, to what you can use it on. Finally, we have the Hawaii Mate Pen. And uh, again, this uses a uh, Wacom AES and retails for about $52. So it's still, it's, it's about middle of the range, price range. And initially you think, oh, it looks, looks nice, looks pretty stylish. And it does come um, with a uh, one extra nib in the box. It's got a very short um, point, so it's probably not so good for artists, but for note taking, it is uh, certainly pretty good. And it uh, charges by micro USB. You have that here, you plug it in. You plug that in then, and of course, you've got nowhere to put this. You know, it's a shame it doesn't slot on the end for storage, so you've got to put that to one side. <laughs> so that's a bit of a shame, but you do have the extra functionality with this button here. You have a laser pointer. So that's good for a business setting. And what I do like on here, it's got the these buttons stand out. You know, they're, they're not flush like uh, many of the other pens. So you can certainly tell, you know, for, for pressing this one for raising, this one for right click. All right, so first up, we're going to look at the bamboo ink pen and see how it performs on the uh, Surface Book. And uh, uh, you can see that I got it connected uh, via Bluetooth. Now, Bluetooth only enables um, the Windows uh, ink functions, uh, or, you know, the pen shortcuts. So, for example, long pressing uh, the button here opens up Cortana. And uh, a short button press opens up OneNote. Now, the Surface Pen... Um, it's not connected by Bluetooth, but you'll see that it still registers and it uh, would still uh, still work uh, for writing and so forth. So um, let's just uh, have a look at, uh, at some applications. So uh, one click to open up uh, OneNote. Okay, we have OneNote open. And uh, it certainly, you know, it, it registers, palm rejection's good. And it's, uh, you know, it's very smooth in writing. There's no, there's no friction. Which, which just it makes it feel like writing on, on glass, not quite like writing on, uh, you know, or paper or anything like that. But, it, it, you know, it gets a, it, it certainly feels okay. So the pen functionality uh, within OneNote is if you uh, want to uh, delete, you press the, uh, the button at the back here. That's the, uh, the, that's the top one here, this button. And uh, pressing the, the front button there, is a uh, is like right click one thing is you know trying to highlight text same applies to the surface pen it's you know it's it's not easy to highlight text uh, if you wanted to do that so uh, this is a shame so with a long nib it's certainly quite handy to do for sketching and doing fine colors you know sort of not very faint if you want to do some shading I say I'm not an artist and certainly pressing harder makes it get darker so so that in that way it's quite good and um, uh, the speed of it is good and towards the edge uh, you know towards the end edge of the screen you can still get right to the edges of the screen so that's uh, that's pretty sweet and uh, you know I think all pretty much the same in terms of probably about one and a half centimeters or so away from the screen, you can still register and again, good palm rejection. So I think uh, I think it's very good for artists too, as well as note takers. So the Surface uh, Pen works uh, in much the same way as the Bamboo Pen, although it can only be used on uh, the uh, uh, Microsoft Pen Protocol enabled devices, such as the Surface line here. Um, so writing, it's just the same as the, uh, the the bamboo. It's a smooth feel, no friction, and um, 
you can, uh, the good thing about it though, you can use the end to delete. It feels very natural compared to having to uh, press a button and uh, and delete. Um, so, but, uh, but you get the same functionality, you know, long pressing to open up Cortana and, and so forth. So long pressing on the screen is uh, activated like, uh, like a right click uh, with the print. But on uh, on on, uh, on say one note, you do that by uh, pressing the button like that to get uh, get like a right click there, and uh, do uh, let's have a look at the sketching capabilities. So here we had the uh, the lightness of the uh, the bamboo pen. This one is much the same, I would say. Oops. And again, let's have a look to the edge of the screen. There's no, there's no lag. I'd say in that, in terms of drawing, it's pretty much the same as the bamboo pen. And uh, to, to again to delete, you can use the end. Okay, so. Now looking at the uh, Wacom AES uh, functionality on my uh, Yoga 720 with the uh, compatible pens. Um, I've got the uh, the bamboo uh, um, pen here, uh, bamboo ink, and it is paired as you can see here. And uh, I do have the, the you know the functions enabled here. But unfortunately, unlike uh, with the Save Surface Book, you know pressing the button, long pressing it. Nothing happens. So none of that functionality actually seems to work, which is uh, is a shame. Um, but there are some uh, are some benefits. For example, I had issues uh, on the Surface Book highlighting text, and it's a much it's much easier here. That seems to work much better, for sure. And uh, so you know, to get into into OneNote, you've obviously got to do it the uh, the old. Uh, old-fashioned way of clicking on things, but that's okay. I can handle that. So let that open up. So typically writing, it's exactly the same as it was on the, on the Surface Book. Smooth, everything the same. This time pressing the forward button, deleting things. And right and, and the up button this time, so it opens up um, the right click. So the reversed uh, in this application here, and uh, going to the sketching. This is where it was before. We've got the same. So that works works admirably. Now, of course, the Surface Pen doesn't register at all because it uses different technology. So let's take a look at the um, Hawaii Mate Pen. Not so easy to write at a, at a, at a bit of a, a tilt because of the, uh, the smaller nib, um, but in terms of sensitivity, it's about the same. But it's not quite as easy because the nib length is, is, is shorter, but you do get the differences in, uh, in colors and whatnot. And again, just as good at the edges of the screen in terms of keeping up all the same. I mean, that uh, is just as comparable. And uh, so we're taking notes, it's the same. It's again, it's, sm it's smooth, but you can inadvertently press these buttons, of course, so you're gonna make sure you hold it that way. There's perhaps slightly a little bit more friction when writing it, so it does feel perhaps a little bit more natural than the uh, the bamboo pen. Oops, and then pressing the forward button does the same here, like that, and the back button will do the, a right click. So the Lenovo Yoga pen. This is probably the smoothest of the lot in terms of, you know, no friction, like writing on glass. But it's just as responsive and accurate, and I use this all the time for my notes. And uh, much the same, press the forward button to, to do the leads. And uh, let's have a look at the 
sketching. It's not as sensitive, you'll notice. The little lights, I would say, it's not as sensitive as the, as the rest. It's probably the worst of the bunch. But again, you do have a different uh, gradients. But it's certainly not as sensitive, I would say. But again, it's fast. And they all keep up well to the edge of the screen. So no complaints uh, there. But certainly, I'd say, to sum it up, um, I think uh, this is probably uh, is a good note-taking pen. Perhaps not so much for good for artwork, that's the Lenovo one. Um, again, the same applies probably to the Hawaii Mate Pen. That's probably better for uh, taking notes than uh, the artwork due to its uh, shortened nib. The Surface Pen on its products are great. It, uh, it's good for taking uh, notes and uh, artwork. I'd say that's uh, very good. And of course, with the uh, new pen, the $99 one, it uh, would be, uh, uh, you'd be able to get the tilt support on the, the Surface Pro line, and uh, that support should be coming through to the other Surface products uh, later on, of course. Um, but my favorite pen is the uh, the Bamboo uh, ink pen. I like the fact that you can uh, switch between the, uh, um, the uh, say, Lenovo Yoga 720 and uh, the, uh, say, the Surface uh, line or comparable uh, tablets like that. So it's, it's got increased flexibility, um, I do like it's got uh, a clip here. I do like that it's got uh, ability, certainly on the surface line, to uh, press the button here and uh, have the different functions happen. Um, so I think that's good. So this would be my award-winning pen. And I think, you know, out of the price range, you know, it's, it's $80, but you do have um, increased functionality with it and flexibility. Yeah, so to conclude, I, uh, my favorite pen is indeed the, uh, the, the bamboo. Uh, ink pen. It has that versatility. You've been able to switch between the two and it's uh, good for both uh, drawing and uh, note taking. And uh, I, I do like it. It feels good in the hand. Um, so I, I do like that indeed. Um, my uh, second favorite, I suppose, I, um, I did always like the Surface Book Pen, but of course you can only just use that uh, for, for, for that line of products. So it's not that flexible. And um, the uh, the Lenovo Active Pen is pretty good because it's uh, it's cheap. It's only you know twenty, over twenty odd dollars or so. So it's it's very good. And of course, it comes with a uh, you know a USB holder here, so you can put it in there. Uh, while uh, while the rest you know storage options are always a little bit difficult. Um, but most of them do come with a, a little clip here to, to clip onto your shirt pocket. Um, unfortunately, the Hawaii Mate Pen is. is it's quite thick, it doesn't thick fit into one of those uh, USB things there, and it, uh, there's nowhere to really store it. But either way, they all work uh, pretty well, uh, so um, hopefully you'll find that uh, useful. And uh, if you did, thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you next time. Bye.